So after the confusion at Perth in the last, we've moved over to Sedgefield for the Durham National. It's over three miles and six furlongs. Pontypool Racing Langley Streak is our top weight. Vinnie Gerard sent you unique kaleidoscopic river for Martin Leedham. Patrick Hogan's Ella Casillida. John Morgan's River Tarquin. Settler for Craig Beckwith. Daniel French's Monish VJ. Agent of the Three for Patrick Hogan. Captain Mannering for Martin Leedham. Amorous Scarlet for Stu Gray. Alex Cherry's Pulsar Tia. Hollywood Hinton's Tiama Vonis. Sarah Malamu and Stone Cold Steve Austin for Mac. Cooper, Boucher Blue for Derek Hinton, and I think the last one was Arctic Watch for Alex. Well done. <laughs> well, well done to me to get them all in, almost. So the Darren National is already running, and it's John Morgan's River Tarquin. It's bowled off into the front, it takes the first. They all clear that. A couple of slow jumps to the rear. Amorous Scarlet made a mistake on landing. Go past the winning post. I would have thought probably another good couple of circuits here. And it's three miles and six furlongs, and it's this river Tarquin as they swing left handed. It's got a six length advantage now from Stone Cold Steve Austin, Tiama Vonis, Polis Switzia, Captain Mannering all together. And they're a couple of lengths back from the second pack, being just led by, I think, Ella Casillida. They will get over that one. But it's river Tarquin. Taking a hold, which makes you wonder how fast it would go if it just let it run. Leads by six. Tiama Vonis and Paul Satia Stone Cold Steve Austin and Captain Mannering. And a length back to Ella Kaisida. Just trying to get back to the second pack. A mistake at the back there by Arctic Watch. Puts himself in the tail end Charlie position. Along with Amorous Scarlet, who's up against the rail. They go over the fourth. He clears that. And is still this river Tarquin. A five length advantage from Tiana Vonis up against the Rao. Stone Cold Steve Austin a little bit wider and then Pulsa Tiela Casilla and Captain Mannering, although Captain Mannering gave that plenty of air going over the fifth. Then we've got a length and a half back to Settler. And then probably a length just to sent you unique kaleidoscopic river and Langley streak up against towards the running rail. And Sarah Manamu and Boucher Blue, a little bit wider is Sorry, I think that is Sarah Manamu, the widest of all. And then Kaleidoscopic River. And just three at the back. Amorous Scarlet, Agent of the Free and Arctic Watch as they get to the seventh. They've all cleared that as well. So they're all still on their feet here in the Durham National. We're through seven fences. And it's River Tarquin that still leads, but only with a two length advantage now from Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Tiana Vonis and Paul Satir together. And Captain Mannering and Ella Casida. Just a length back to Settler and Century Unique as they get to this ditch, the eighth. Oh, and we've lost a couple. Their agent of the free and Arctic watch both went at the eighth. They're both at the back of the pack. And, uh, we've lost two. But it's still River Tarkin for John Morgan. It's Turquoise Silks, Yellow Cap. Famous in the Starters Orders League. Leads them into the ninth. Takes it well. Rest of them clear it. They'll jump that well. Stone Cold Steve Austin in second from Pulsatier and Tiama Vonis. Here we go. We'll have uh, a couple more circuits before we get to the final time. But River Tark wins in first. Steve Stone Cold Austin in second. And then Tiama Vonis and Pulsatier third and fourth. And uh, Elia Ella Kayasid of Pedrick Hogan. Yellow silks, black dots, black cap, black sleeves. Outside of that is Captain Mainwaring or Mannering like to say a couple of mistakes at the back there close scopic river pecked a little bit on landing Sarah Manamu's moved right back to to be our back marker now but River Tarquin still our leader from Stone Cold Steve Austin Tiama Vonis Nella Casida and Captain Mannering and Settler between those is Paul Satir and out a little bit wider is Bolsha Blue chasing pack starting to bunch up a little bit now probably six lengths between first and last maybe seven as they get to the twelfth Mistake there by Tiana Vonis. Shuffles her back. As well as Monish VJ, who's not had much of a, a call. I think that's Daniel French, Monish VJ. But River Tarquin leads him into the 13th. So well over half the fence is done now. And it's still this River Tarquin from the line of horses. The quintet of, oh sorry, quartet of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Settler, Ella Kaiseida. That's actually a trio. I got that wrong. 5 4 3. Two, one, Thunderbirds, a go. 
as they take this left turn. On the side of the course, heading back towards the home straight for the second to last time. Bit of a mistake at the back by Kaleidoscopic River. Hit the ground hard again. But just those two that departed at the eighth. Let's see if the fence can take a few victims again. This big ditch. Nope, they all clear it, although Kaleidoscopic River, again, a little bit of a mistake at the rear, and it's just a length and a half off the main pack, but River Tarquin's still their leader, but just with a three-length advantage now from Settler, Ella Casida and Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and Paul Satir and Tiama Vonis up against the rail, and then Boucher Blue, a little bit wider now, and getting into the race's Amorous Scarlet as they go over the 17th. They all clear that as well, good jump at the rear by Kaleidoscopic River, but River Tarquin goes past the winning post for the last time, the full circuit to go in the Durham National. Leads by four from Settler, Ella Caicedo, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Paul Sati, Amaris, Scarlet moving up well on the outside. Tiana Vonis has got back up into it. And just behind those is you know, Boucher Blues in that front pack, then Captain Mannering, then Langley Streak and Monish VJ. Century Unique, Sarah Manamu and Kaleidoscopic River, and that's your field. As they go over the 18th, there's so seven left to take, and they're inside the final mile. River Tarquin still leads. And they're starting to bunch up behind him, the first pack, the second pack, which is just being led by Lonely Streak. But everyone's got a chance in this. And it's still River Tarquin into the plane on the 19th. They all clear it, big high jump at the back by Kaleidoscopic River, probably not going to win, but you never know. So River Tarquin with Amorous Scarlet, the nearest one to us, and the Black Sox of Stu Gray moving up into second as they go over the 20th. So with five to take, it's still this River Tarquin, although off the bit now and being ridden along a little bit. Amorous Scarlet looks ominous on the white outside, then Boucher Blue set, they're asking for a little bit more time. Tiama Vonis and Stone Cold Steve Austin as they go over the 21st. They all clear that well, and it's still this River Tarquin with a three length advantage. Amorous Scarlet starts to hustle along with Boucher Blue and Tiana Vonis as they go over the 22nd. They all clear that as well. Really out wide now is this kaleidoscopic river and Sarah Manamu towards the rear, but it's River Tarquin that leads them up the hill inside the final half mile now we're just three to take and it's River Tarquin takes the 23rd well from Tiana Vonis has moved into second now Amorous Scarlet has shuffled back Langley Streaks come from nowhere and it's River Tarquin Tiana Vonis Langley Streak Pulsar Tear Century Unique busting through the pack now Boucher Blue and Stone Cold Steve Austin Amorous Scarlet still trying to run on Captain Mannering's gone back a little bit and finally River Tarquin has been headed by Tiana Vonis as they go over the penultima and it's Tiana Vonis from River Tarquin Century Unique hardly had a call on the wide outside is Pulsar Tear Furlong and a half to run and one to take and it's Tiana Vonis. Leads by a length from Century Unique. River Tarquin's got nothing left. Pulsatia running on well as well as Langley Streak and Boucher Blue but Tiana Vonis going to get headed now by Century Unique as go over the last. Century Unique will slow over it. Tiana Vonis gets away from it. On the wide outside is Pulsatia but Century Unique. Century Unique for Vinnie Jar is going to take the Durham National from Tiana Vonis and Pulsatia. Too far from Geordie Land is Durham. So I put a, put a say as kind of a home course of any jar. Well done. Takes the Durham National with always the stewards. And it could well have been Senchi. And he's lost it. Senchi Unique has lost it. As I said, he was bashing his way through the race there. And he's gone. So a win for Alex Cherry. Wins the Durham, Durham, the Durham National. Well done with Pulsatia. Pulsatia, Tiama Vonis was second with for Del Hinton. River Tarkin with John Wilman was third. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Matt Cooper was fourth. And Boucher Blue for Hollywood was fifth.